Hi, I'm Elsie, and in this video, I'll show you how to search for electricity datasets in EcoInvent. Searching for electricity datasets can be quite challenging, especially due to the many options and the different region division. To simplify the process, it's helpful to take a structured approach. To find the right electricity dataset, consider the following questions. Do you know with what kind of technology your electricity is generated? Do you have any idea what voltage you are using? And where is the electricity being used? In this video, I'll help you answer these questions and use the answers to find the most suitable dataset. Firstly, you need to determine whether you know what kind of electricity you are using. If you have information on the source of your electricity, such as purchase power agreements, PPAs, or records of the electricity mix, you can model your electricity accordingly. If you don't know the source, you can use a representative market dataset for your region. The database has extensive coverage of regions, including different provinces for large countries like India and China. After determining what kind of electricity dataset you should select, consider the voltage of the electricity you are using. EcoInvent provides options for low, medium, and high voltage. Typically, households and offices use low voltage, while medium voltage is used for industrial connections. High voltage may be used for specific or energy-intensive applications. Lastly, consider the location where the electricity is being used. EcoInvent offers comprehensive regional coverage for electricity datasets, including market and production datasets for each country. For larger countries, there are even different regions within the database. You should therefore look up where the product you're modeling is being produced. With the answers to these questions, you can proceed to find the most suitable dataset. Now, let's move to Mobius for a practical example. In this example of the production of a t-shirt, the impact of most items is already calculated, except for the electricity used. We'll now try to find a suitable dataset for the electricity. To select the dataset, we start by filtering for the desired database, for example, EcoInvent 3.6. As always, you want to use one database consistently throughout your model. Next, we consider the three questions mentioned earlier, the source of your electricity, the voltage you are using, and the region where the product is being produced. Let's say that we don't know the source. We search for market and electricity. As the t-shirt is produced in a factory, we assume medium voltage electricity is used, so we add medium. Finally, we narrow down the search by filtering for the specific region, like India. Usually, this would give us only one or two results, but now we're still getting 17 results, and we need to take a bit more granular approach. Let's say that our factory is in the north of India, so we'll take the market for the northern grid. We've added some electricity impact. However, we need to do one more thing before we're done. Check whether the dataset property is correct. First, we can see that the dataset unit is kilowatt hour. We're also modeling our electricity in kilowatt hour, so we don't need to convert anything. However, we do need to check if the property of our item is equal to these units. We see two properties, 3.6 gigajoule and 1 kilowatt hour. These are both equal to 1 kilowatt hour, so they are correct. Now, let's say that we receive some new information, and now we know the electricity generation technology. Let's go back to the database search. We start with filtering for the database. Next, we can now search for electricity production and add India as a region. As you can see, even smaller regions are available for electricity production. We use hydropower, so I'll type hydro. We can only select high voltage, as most generation technologies operate on high voltage. That is not entirely accurate, as there are some small losses involved in conversion to lower voltages. However, for now we're taking an approximate approach and just selecting a high voltage dataset. If necessary, there are ways to include transmission and conversion to lower voltages. Again, we check the dataset unit with our model unit and check if the property fits these units. If you want to know more about properties, we have another video that explains this concept. In this video, 
I explained how to find electricity datasets in EcoInvent by answering the three questions about electricity generation, voltage, and location. You can determine the most suitable environmental impact dataset for your needs. In case you have more questions about this topic, we have more resources available, and you can always reach out. Good luck doing your own LCA.